Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the many different causes of acne, okay? Let's start off with the food allergies. If you are allergic to certain foods, that can create a reaction on the skin, big time. It might not even uh, look like acne, but it can create a redness, all sorts of scaly, dry skin, and that could be coming from a food allergy. However, there's also uh, chemical sensitivities, food intolerances that are not necessarily an allergy. If you suspect that, there are certain doctors that specialize in that. What happens when you eliminate certain foods that are creating the reaction, boom, the skin clears up really, really fast. But this is one of the reasons why intermittent fasting is so powerful do intermittent fasting first and see if your skin does, just doesn't clear up right away. And then you know potentially that could be the problem. Number two, high androgens. What's an androgen? It's a male hormone, okay? Women should not have excessive amounts of androgens. And they're getting facial hair. They're losing their hair. They're getting a deeper voice. Uh, they have a lot of other issues with fatigue and inflammation. This high level of androgen also will cause acne and it's usually coming from high insulin, okay? So the healthy ketogenic diet is the ultimate diet for someone with PCOS because it cuts down the carbs, it cuts down the insulin, and then it, it helps to normalize your androgens. Stress can also increase the adrenals, which activate more androgens, uh, and also a very powerful uh, testosterone called DHT can cause acne as well as hair loss, okay? And a good remedy for that is called stinging nettle root. Stinging nettle root is hands down one of the best remedies to help balance this, um, this powerful testosterone. It's also really good for inflammation anywhere in the body, okay? Stinging nettle root, don't forget that one. Low vitamin A will cause acne. A vitamin A deficiency. Now, this is one of the reasons why Accutane is so popular. It's a synthetic version of vitamin A, but it has a lot of side effects. So the best source of vitamin A that I would recommend would be virgin cod liver oil, okay? One reason why you might not have enough vitamin A is you don't have a gallbladder, or you have a liver problem, or you don't have enough microbes to help you recycle the bile to help you absorb vitamin A. So there could be like um, a situation when you, you've took an antibiotic and now you have an imbalance in your gut and you have IBS and things like that. You're going to have a problem absorbing vitamin A. It also could be that you had a gastric bypass. So um, that could be one of the reasons too. But uh, virgin olive oil is awesome. And if you don't have a gallbladder, then you need to take uh, purified bile salts with it to help you absorb vitamin A and that will help the skin. Realize we're dealing with an inflammatory condition of the follicle on the skin. So anything that will help you lower inflammation is going to help the skin. Zinc, very, very important in skin health. If you're deficient in zinc, you will get dry skin. You can get acne. You can get flaky skin. Guess what depletes zinc in your body? High carbohydrate diets. Surprise. Zinc picolinate is a good remedy. Oysters are, probably have the highest amount of zinc anywhere. Um, zinc is also in uh, liver, a healthy grass-fed liver. Now we get to high levels of estrogen can cause acne. This is why during menopause, some women get some acne. Uh, also through the menstrual cycle, you can get acne. That is a spike in estrogen. We've talked about androgens, but high estrogen can also do it. Then you have something called cystic acne, which is an advanced form of acne which is really an estrogen dominant problem. The remedy for all three of these situations is something called DIM. I put a link down below for more, more information, but it also blocks the excess amount of estrogen being produced in the body, which is coming from testosterone. All right, so here's what I'd recommend. Number one, get on a healthy keto plan. I put a link down below. This may handle all of these things without even doing anything. Always add intermittent fasting because this kicks in the repair mode. It helps your skin, your cognitive function, um, but it's going to also eliminate any potential food allergies or chemical sensitivities. Vitamin A and zinc are really good products. Cod liver oil, zinc picolinate are good. Also, you want to lower your stress um, as much as possible. Cruciferous vegetables. You could also take DIM as a, as a substitute because this is like two pounds of vegetables in one tablet but cruciferous vegetables on a regular basis will help to balance estrogen. Now there's one more thing, if you have aging spots or little blemishes and you, and you wanna just improve the, the color of the skin, vitamin B3 in the form of niacinamide, which is 
the water-soluble version, and you mix it with either coconut oil or olive oil and put it on your skin, you can greatly help the health of the skin. And if there's any type of blemishes or dark spots, you can actually improve that situation. I like the version of niacinamide because it's water-soluble and it seems to go in better. You can use niacin, but it doesn't seem to absorb as well, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis, how about that?